In this tutorial we'll talk about construction tips for laying and rejuvenating asphalt millings. Millings have become a popular alternative for hot asphalt and concrete for driveways, parking lots, and streets. We receive many questions in regard to constructing and handling millings. We hope this tutorial will be a benefit to you as you consider using millings for your project. Getting a smooth, non-erodible, non-raveling, non-tracking surface has been a challenge and are the two most common complaints of using millings. We will share the solution with you in this tutorial. Millings have no structural strength of their own and rely on a solid base for support. When grading in your road, consider cutting in the road to provide natural support for the shoulders of the millings and eliminate or reduce the amount of dirt for backfilling and landscaping. And good drainage is very important. Existing roads can provide the necessary base for millings. For new projects, we recommend 4 to 5 inches of 2 inch rock be laid and compacted for the base. Screen millings are preferred for a smooth finish. We recommend 3 to 4 inches of screen millings. You want enough millings depth to prevent bringing up gravel or dirt during the leveling and grading as well as while you're incorporating the hawk seal blend. An advantage of using millings is they don't require large equipment. These millings are placed and treated with hawk seal E blend to create a smooth durable surface that will not erode or track. A disadvantage of raw millings is they tend to ravel and the fines tend to track into vehicles, garages and buildings. Areas where they're not wanted and also subject to erosion. There's nothing more disappointing than have your wife's new carpet ruined with uh, asphalt from your money-saving millings project. Incorporating Hoxial Blend into the millings rejuvenates and softens the asphalt in the millings. Then the Hoxial Blend's coal palmers and binders help create a smoother, more durable surface. Hoxial blend is non-hazardous, it's safe for the environment, it contains a proprietary blend of acid, copalmers, and binder that rejuvenates the asphalt and rebinds the aggregate in the millings. Incorporating Hoxial blend will create a tight, durable, waterproof surface and reduce raveling, erosion, and tracking. A good driver can tailgate spread your millings, eliminating a lot of time and labor to prepare your project. Incorporation can be done with a variety of, of equipment. <clears throat> you can use the field cultivators, discs, heavy drags, or specialized tools such as the pulverizer in the center picture. Uh, you can use pull them with a small garden tractor or four-wheeler or, or a larger farm tractor. Uh, basically, it's a s simple uh, matter of just getting that solution incorporated into the top two to three inches of the millings. We use the pulverizer it's designed to work up the surface and is low maintenance and also works well to incorporate the Hoxial blend in solution into the top two to three inches of the millings. We recommend a minimum of four to five inches of millings to provide enough depth to prevent pulling up any rocks or dirt when grading and leveling the millings or when incorporating the Hoxial solution into the millings. Once the millings are graded, we recommend incorporating Hoxial Blend into the top two to three inches of the millings with a disc, heavy drag, or similar tool such as this pulverizer to rejuvenate the asphalt in the millings. Incorporating a total of one gallon of Hoxial Blend solution in three separate passes will maximize the saturation and penetration. When treating millings that have been previously laid and compacted, they will typically not absorb more than eight-tenths of a gallon of solution per square yard before it begins to puddle and run off. Incorporating provides a deeper, more durable surface for ag equipment, aggressive four-wheelers, and probably heavy uh, industrial areas where you have semis turning. This is the third and final pass. Notice the solution is beginning to puddle in the tractor tracks. The millings at this point will become like a slurry similar to poured concrete. One gallon per square yard of solution has been applied here and we will allow 45 minutes to an hour for the solution to soften and rejuvenate the asphalt in the millings before we start to compact them. 
The millings will need to set up enough to carry the weight of the roller without rippling the millings ahead of the roller. Otherwise it squishes out and you don't want that. Uh, we recommend compacting the millings several times in the first 24 hours. Light traffic such as cars and pickups can begin immediately. Overnight parking in heavy garbage trucks and farm tractors with aggressive tires should be avoided until the treated millings have fully cured. You will notice a carpet-like feel when you walk on the surface until the treated millings have cured, typically in 7 to 14 days depending on the temperature. The hotter the temperature, the better, <coughs> and the faster it will cure. Many times property owners contact us after they have laid and compacted their millings, wanting to know if Hoxie OE can be a, used to seal them. While incorporation provides a deeper, more durable mat, you can apply Hoxie OE over the top of compacted millings. Some of our farm and commercial customers have worked up the compacted millings to incorporate the recommended one gallon of Hoxie OE solution in the top two to three inches. Incorporation provides a deeper, more durable surface, especially where heavy vehicles and equipment are involved. After incorporation of Hoxiel, the millings are then recompacted when the millings have set up enough to carry the roller without rippling the millings ahead of the roller. Compaction can be done with a heavy, smooth tire vehicle as well. Uh, we recommend compacting the treated millings several times in the first 24 hours. Previously compacted millings can be sealed by applying 8 tenths of a gallon of Hoxiel solution with a heavy nap or foam paint roller. For larger areas, you will want to use a simple sprayer system. We recommend recompacting the millings 45 minutes to an hour after application to tighten the surface. In this photo, a total rate of 8 tenths of a gallon of solution per square yard was applied in three passes. This will saturate and penetrate the compacted millings approximately an inch thick deep to tack down the fines and waterproof the millings and prevent their millings from eroding. Treated compacted millings can then be recompacted. Traffic can begin immediately. However, overnight parking should be avoided until the millings cure in about seven to ten days or when the carpet-like softness is no longer felt when you walk on them. <clears throat> this spray bar is constructed of two inch square tubing with half inch nipples welded every six inches with 80-50 fan jet nozzles carried at 16 inches off the ground. <clears throat> Up to 12 inch spacing can be used. A two inch water trash pump with an inch and a half PVC piping from the tank and back to the tank provides circulation. A valve controls the amount of solution and pressure to the boom or wand. This setup also has a 50 foot high quality rubber hose for the wand for using it on smaller projects in tight spaces. The tanks and booms can also be trailer or truck mounted. Here's a simple boom setup that was constructed by one of our customers. It has a water trash pump and PVC piping. 80-50 fan jet nozzles were spaced every 12 inches. A valve in the line controls the amount of solution going back to the tank. It also controls the pressure to the boom. A T in valve could be added to feed a hose or wand if desired. Any larger sized tank and water trash pump can be truck or trailer mounted for applying Hoxia blend solution. Inch and a half to two inch water trash pump is, is all you need. Uh, inch and a half or two inch PVC pipe or hose will work. I would caution you on uh, as far as hose, uh, inch and a half is sufficient. A uh, two inch hose gets to be pretty unruly and hard to work with. Um, then Fernco connectors for connecting your PVC connections on the suction side works well. On the pressure side you want to be careful that they don't blow apart. Uh, PC valves uh, or the banjo lever valves are, work really well. That's what we use. Uh, high quality garden hose for your wand. Uh, stainless steel ball valve and adapters for your hose. Um, <clears throat> to control and shut off your wand. Um, a garden sprayer wand or aluminum pipe uh, works really well to kind of get this solution away from you so it doesn't spatter on your feet when you're applying the Hawk Seal. Um, you can use the regular sprayer nozzle if you'd like, but 
you really, if you're doing any amount at all, you're going to want a boom, or not, <laughs> excuse me, not a boom, but a you know, section of aluminum pipe of some sort. Uh, and then the half inch NPT steel 8050 square tips uh, work really well. Uh, you can get them at asphaltsupply.com. Here's a simple uh, spray tank design. Uh, you knew basically any water trash pump will supply adequate volume at a low pressure. Uh, low cost trash pumps are best for most projects. Uh, we have used utility pumps with plastic impellers for smaller projects. Um, <coughs> you can construct a bypass return line from the pump back to the tank for agitation and to regulate the pressure to the wand or the boom. Uh, you want to use higher quality garden hose to connect to the pump and the sprayer wand. Um, and you'll want to shut off at the wand to provide control of the spray. You also, very important, you want to avoid using pumps with rubber components and garden and agricultural sprayers as they will typically seize up due to the acids in the hawk seal. So please don't use your uh, expensive garden uh, sprayers or your ag equipment. Uh, stay with the low cost water trash pumps and uh, keep it simple. Uh, proper protection of eyes, skin, and clothing should also be used. Here's a wand that's being used to saturate the millings on a smaller project. Tanks or drums can be mounted on trucks and trailers, and sprinkle cans can be used for smaller projects. If you drill out your sprinkle can <coughs> nozzle, <coughs> uh, you can uh, sprinkle it on. Uh, also, on uh, previously compacted millings, you can roll it on with a heavy nap roller or sponge roller. This simple trailer sprayer was constructed by owners of a subdivision in Michigan to rebuild their streets with millings. <coughs> Once the treated millings have had sufficient time to set up and prevent running and rippling of the millings ahead of the roller, we recommend compacting the millings several times in the first 24 hours. When compacting your millings, avoid short runs back and forth. Run your roller full length of the project <coughs> and vary your path to avoid creating ruts and ripples. You want to compact the millings as much as possible while being careful to over <coughs> compact and cause ripples in your millings. You want to allow time for the millings to firm up enough to support the roller without creating ripples on each of the second, third, and fourth passes. The shoulders should be backfilled to support the millings to prevent them from sloughing off. Also remember good drainage is important when landscaping. This photo is an example of poor drainage causing the road base to fail, allowing the asphalt to sag. Standing water is asphalt's worst enemy and it will cause potholes and rutting and eventual total failure. Here's another example of poor maintenance to keep the water from pooling along the roadway. Treating the asphalt, whether hot mix or millings, with Hoxial Blend will waterproof the surface and minimize the damage and moisture from oxidation. It will also curb uh, the erosion and washing of the millings. Make sure existing culverts are open and draining properly. Smaller drainage tile can also be installed where lack of grade prevents surface drainage. Using millings and Hoxial Blend to construct a smooth, durable surface can be accomplished between 50 and 60 percent of the cost of hot asphalt. Hoxial Blend can be used as a preservative for regular asphalt surfaces. It works like Thompson's water seal on wood. It prevents the water from penetrating the uh, fissures and voids in the asphalt, which leads to deterioration. Hoxial Blend will literally stop the deterioration and cracking of your asphalt with a one-time application of 0.35 to 4 tenths of a gallon per so of solution. We ship Hoxial Blend in concentrate form to save you money as well. So for more information you can visit our website at hoxial.com. And if you send us your dimensions and type of project, we will be happy to provide you a quote for your project to us at hoxiel.com or you can email us at hoxiel at gmail.com.
Uh, please specify the dimensions, uh, the type of project you're doing, whether you're uh, rejuvenating millings or if you're preserving asphalt and so forth. We hope this tutorial has been beneficial and that you can also uh, visit our website at hawksail.com or email us at hawksail at gmail.com or visit our Facebook page at Hawksail Distributing. And uh, we're looking for dealers and applicators. Uh, we have customers all across the United States that are asking, do you have someone that applies our product? So if you are in that uh, business, we would certainly love to visit with you about becoming an applicator dealer. And with that, we wish you a profitable day.